Okay, question three from section 4.3, binomial distribution. Okay, the failure rate is 10% in the initial production run, run of a new calculated chip. A quality control inspector selects 20 chips for testing. Okay, what is the probability that more than two of them are defective? Okay, so this is a little bit tricky, this one, when you're trying to figure out if it's binomial or not, because you're gonna get a percentage question in hypergeometric, but um, there is a slight difference between this percentage in binomial as opposed to when we do hypergeometric. Okay, so we're doing 10% of 20 chips. Okay, these 20 chips that you select, each chip is independent. Okay, so if one chip is not, if, if it works, doesn't mean the next one will not. Okay, so each, um, in each calculator chip that you choose, each one is independent. Okay, so having one that works doesn't mean the next one will not. Okay, so this is why it's binomial because the independent there are independent trials. Okay, so A, what is the probability that more than two of them are defective? Okay, keywords here, more than two. So we've seen these type of questions already in chapter three. Uh, two and three. So we said less than or more than. So if I were to have more than two defective chips, then I could have, because we're doing 20 chips, we could do two defective, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 20. So that would be a lot of work if I did, oh, sorry, more than two. I can't have two. So more than two would be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to 20. Okay, so I could do the probability probability that way, but that would be a lot of work. So I'd be doing the this formula here for three defective, four defective, five defective, six, def six defective, seven, all the way up to 20. But that would be a lot of work. So I taught you a different one that you could do. Okay, so the other one that you could choose to do is how about we find the probability, uh, sorry, find the probability of one and two, sorry, 0, 1, or 2, and then subtract that from 100%. Okay, so instead of doing 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way to 20, we're, instead we're going to do 0, 1, or 2. Okay, so I mean, we're going to take it away from 1 or 100%. So it's going to be 1 minus the um, probability of 0, okay, plus the probability of 1, plus the probability of 2. Okay, so having none that are effective, one effective, and two effective. So we can add these together, subtract it from one, or in this case, like 100%, and that will give us the answer of more than two. Okay, so one minus, now we want to do the probability of having zero defective. So again, we have 20 chips, which is 20 trials. So 20 trials, we want to choose zero defective chips. So we want to see if uh, the chance of that not having any. Okay, so now we're multiplying that by the probability of success. So this one, the probability of success counts, sign a, kind of sounds weird because we're trying to measure the failure rate. Okay, so we're looking at the failure rate. So what is the probability that we're looking at that it will fail? Okay, so we're saying that the failure rate is 10% or 0 0.1. Because we're looking to have we're looking at how many are defective. Okay, so the chances that it's defective is 10%. So this is what we're looking at. So this becomes the success. Okay, so how many are defective? This is what we're looking at. So the probability of defection of a defect is 10%, which makes it the probability of not a defection no defection would be 0 0.9 sorry not defective so this would be zero and then this would be 20 minus zero which is 20 plus now we're going to do it for one defect so one defective chip so out of 20 we're choosing one defective chip so probably of one defect or just any defect in general is 0 0.1 now our x is 1, and this is 0 0.9, so 90% chance that it won't be defective, and this is now to the power of 19. 
And lastly, 20 choose 2, which is 0 0.1 to power 2, and 0 0.9 to power of 18. So again, so 1, or 100%, subtract 0 defects, 1 defect, sorry, 1 defective chip, or 2 defective chips. Okay, so if we add these three together, take away from the total, which is 100%, that will give us the probability of having more than 2. So more than 2 would be 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 20. Okay, so when you plug that into your calculator, you get 1 minus 0 0.12 plus 0 0.27 plus 0 0.29. Which is you 1 minus 0 0.68 or 0 0.32, which is 32%. Okay, so there is a 32% chance that you will have more than two defective chips if you choose, if the inspector selects 20. Okay. So we have a 32% chance that more than two, so from three all the way to 20, will be defective if you choose randomly choose 20. Okay, so that was A. Now B, which is what is the expected number? So expected, E of X equals N times P. So how many chips did we choose? We choose 20. And what is the probability of, of a defect, a defective chip was 0 0.1. So how many should we expect? Well, we should expect 10% of 20 chips, which should give you two defective chips. That's what we should expect. Okay, and now your homework for this page 167. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, and 10. Okay. The homework starts getting challenging for this section and the next one. So please, please, please try to go through, through it. I did post chapter four solutions online. So please have a look at those. And if you are still stuck, please uh, feel free to ask me online through e-learning. Okay, that is again the last video for this week, which is um, oh first day's uh, April Fools, but that's not a that's not a fool's joke. So for this week, that's from March thirtieth all the way to April third. This would be the last video, and I'll catch up with you guys next week. Take care. Bye.